Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing. Today, I'm taking my first glance at Team Yankee, the World War III miniatures game. This is opposed to my usual fare around these parts, which is Flames of War, and videos which I will likely do in the future about 40k and Warhammer Fantasy Dash Age of Sigmar. So, today I've got the Yuri's Wolves box set which is going to be my very first thing. However, I am playing East Germans. I bought this because of the new Forces book, or Forces PDF, which gives you access to one allied formation for your force. So I am going to have a little platoon of T-64s, so that way I don't have to paint quite as many models for my Volks Army horde. Now on the back, you get to see what you get in the box which is BMPs, two of them, and T-64s, five of them. Combine this with the uh, brand new Hammerfall starter set, which you will be seeing here in a few weeks, and you got yourself a very nice little battalion to start with. So as you can see there, along with the reflection of the camera and the tripod, is you get one Team Yankee mini rulebook, Five plastic T-64 tanks, including tank commanders, but I will not be using these as the Warsaw Pact often went into battle buttoned up. And then two plastic BMPs, either BMP-1s or BMP-2s. I will be building BMP-1s for my Volks army. And a decal sheet, which I will not be using. If you would like it, feel free to comment here and I will give it away when we reach 100 views. And six unit cards. So... I'm going to actually be getting to the unboxing part of this unboxing video. Never forgive me, I'm a bit tired tonight. I usually do these unboxings during the day, before work, but today it is after work, so. Um, made in Malaysia, apparently. That's fun, and you got a little bit of tape there. Alan's tip of the day, always check for tape. Okay, so first thing I'm going to look at is the mini rule book. It's, uh, it's a little bit damaged. It's, it's not as bad as some I've seen, I'll admit that. I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to stick with this one. I was debating after seeing conditions that other people got theirs in, asking for a new one from Battlefront, but this looks pretty decent. You got all your standard rules in here. I'm very excited, as this means I don't have to go buy the hardcover one. Get your assembly guide. Though, honestly, as I've said before, always use the online assembly guides. They got both videos and, like, you know, tutorials for this stuff. So, there's no reason not to just do it online. You're watching this video. You got internet. Here are the BMP sprues. Now, this is something I'm very thankful for. You got both of the turret mounts. So, that means that you can basically build either one of these and not be left out. In fact, you could, uh, I've seen some people who magnetize the hull of the BMP to the bottom, and that just allows them to switch out the BMP1 or BMP2. Frankly, I think the hulls look similar enough that I'm just going to try and just switch the turrets, probably. Probably use the littler hull. I don't know. Still debating it. Anyway, that's that, and on next to the big kahunes of the box. Sorry for giving you nothing to look at there for a second. The T-64s. So, these things are actually really big. Like, if you if you play Flames of War, Cold War tanks are just that much bigger. That it, it's kind of insane. Like, they're to scale with Flames of War, but they really don't look it. You know what I mean? Because they're just... Like... A T-55 is bigger than a King Tiger, and this is bigger than a T-55, so, yeah, no, this is just beyond my ramblings. You got a pretty standard sprue here, side skirts, everything you need. Really nicely cast, I really, I really like these. I've been building a lot of uh, Plastic Soldier Company T-55s, and the Battlefront quality is just, it's there, man. I do recommend those, uh... Plastic Soldier Company T-55s, by the way, they're, uh, they're so much cheaper, but they are a bit of a pain. 
sorry. Again, I'm rambling a lot in this video. If you like that, though, feel free to comment, and I'll ramble more in more videos. So, here we finally have the decals. Yeah, give me a hundred views, and I'll give these away to one lucky commenter. That's right. This ten cent worth of plastic art could be yours. And then you got your movement orders. I really do love the scene on the back of this card. It really says a lot about the Soviets and their uh, their ideals on the sanctity of human life. Um, movement orders, standard, as with all things. And then you've got the Red Banner Motor Rifle Division, which is the greater force that you could include your stuff in, with your support options. Again, this is really useful for me because I am playing with just the allied formation. So, you know, I will just be probably bringing this. I may not even buy the Red Thunder box, or the Red Thunder book. I probably shouldn't be showing you the point cost, but look at that, I did. Oh, snap. What are they going to do? And you got those BMP2 Scout, BMP1 Scout cards. Simple, easy cards. I do really like the cards, I should say. Of all the changes from version 3 to version 4 Flames of War and all the things they could have brought from Team Yankee, the cards are just just excellent. I love having the quick access, the quick ability just to look at cards rather than having to search through a book. I don't like all the changes between version 3 and version 4. If you guys request it, I will make a video where I just rant and you guys can see my face and everything. And Yeah, again, leave me a comment sometime. And there's one last thing in here. Oh. Uh, the MP1 turret. Apparently fell off the screw. Yeah. There it is. Anyway. <laughs> sorry. And you got your little standard plastic uh, Soviet tank commanders. There is one thing. Just, just that you may also be disappointed in. But it's something that disappoints me. Is that you never get any female commanders. The Warsaw Pact, uh, at least the East Germans, had about 10% of their military was women. So I imagine at least some of their tank commanders were. I mean, you can't really have a tenth of your army be women and not have any tank commanders not be women. And the Soviets had, I think at 85, I think had around 6%, but that's still a sizable portion for the Soviet army. Anyway, if, you're, if Battlefront's happening to listen, say, uh, I don't know why they're wasting their time, get back to work. And also make some female tank commanders. Uh, that's all. It's a really good value box. It's uh, slightly... You get basically a free BMP. Uh, and you get the free rule book. So, overall, I recommend. Um, I mean, I don't recommend that hard. I definitely recommend the Ptovkov's Bears. Yeah, my Russian pronunciation, A-OK. -okay. But I de definitely recommend that more. If you are just playing East Germans. So, anyway, like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, leave me a comment if you want to say anything, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!